A private philanthropy is giving up to $5 million each year to fund medical research projects, including one that could reduce heart disease risk in diabetics using low-cost medicines. Now, that study is among the first three winners of the award from the Tanoto Foundation announced today. Now, for more on this, we have the Foundation's Executive Advisor, Besu Kyung, and Associate Professor Rinku Dalan, Senior Consultant at the Department of Endocrinology at Tan Tok Seng Hospital. She is the lead doctor behind a project on heart disease in diabetic patients. Uh, good evening to the both of you and welcome to the studio. Um, Professor Rinku, perhaps we can start with you. Uh, your project on using low-cost medicine to address cardiovascular diseases. Tell us more about this work. What does it entail and why is it important? So patients with diabetes have a higher risk of cardiovascular disease when compared to other patients who do not have diabetes. Um, patients with diabetes, the reason why they have this high risk for cardiovascular disease is a chronic low-grade inflammation. Mm -hmm. So through our previous work, we have seen that patients with diabetes have a characteristic inflamed neutrophil signature that predisposes them to this chronic low-grade inflammation. So through this study, we want to use a generic medication called Sishin, which is used for gout to treat and prevent gouty attacks. It is an anti-inflammatory medication that acts through the neutrophils. So we postulate that patients with diabetes who have this inflamed neutrophil sig signature, mm. if we give them colchicine, yeah. we will be able to retard the process or dampen the process of inflammation and retard the process of atherosclerosis. And so, that in the long term mm. can help to prevent progression of cardiovascular disease and heart attacks and stroke. Okay, so it really sounds like a fascinating project, one that really involves uh, thorough research and planning. And I suppose uh, you are getting some help in the form of a grant from the Tanoto Foundation. Uh, tell us how this fund, or this grant rather, will be helping your study. So this grant helps us give financial resources mm. so that we can have manpower uh, devices and other processes that we require to do a clinical trial to see if we give colchicine to patients with diabetes, if we can prevent or dampen the process of inflammation and reduce the progression of atherosclerosis. Okay, so Mr. Bay, I think this is the time to bring you into the conversation. Yes, yes. We are looking at a $5 million commitment from the Tanoto Foundation. Uh, share with us the philosophy behind this move. So the Tanoto Foundation was founded by Mr. and Mrs. Sukanto Tanoto on the belief that every individual has the right to maximize their potential. So we operationalized that through looking at improving quality of education as well as medical research. In Singapore, obviously, the quality of education is really very high. Mm. So the focus then is on medical research. Actually, since 2009, we have already uh, endowed close to 11 million on three professorships. One in cardio uh, cardiology, oncology, as well as diabetes. And from 2017, you know, we began to fund a few ad hoc projects. Okay. So in, we decided uh, recently that we should formalize this, yeah. put it into a system called the Tandoto Medical Research Funding, where we will provide 5 million each year to fund medical projects that last for a period of three years. Okay. At, the, at the end of three years, we hope that these researchers, when they succeed, can look for more funding from a government to roll out their discoveries to the healthcare system, either through a clinical trial or directly. Okay, so it's, it really sounds like it's been going on for quite some time, I mean, yes, 2017. Yes, yes. Um, and I believe this is also not the only project that you yes. are supporting. I think earlier you were alluding to the other two projects as well yes, that yes. you are supporting. Perhaps you can share with us the details of those two other projects, why and how uh, they were chosen for this particular grant. So we have another project uh, from Brian Kennedy, Professor Brian Kennedy from NUS. Mm that looks at the uh, declining fertility of women over the age, as they age, right? Uh, with the principal aim 
of hoping to improve fertility, you know, and as well as improving women's health, because he believes that in the in in the process of doing that, the woman's health will improve. The other project is about childhood allergies. Okay. They have been increasing over the years. And this professor, uh, Ashley St. John from uh, Duke NUS, will be doing a research to really investigate, you know, how, whether the, the allergies are transmitted from the mother to the child and, and how, how it is done and how it can be prevented in the future. Okay. You know, because are... childhood allergies obviously can affect, you know, the development of the child. Yeah, indeed. And these are really... Um, very important work that these researchers are uh, working on. Professor Rinku, perhaps we can talk a little bit more about the study that you and your team are working on. Why is a low-cost solution so important for heart patients with diabetes and how long will this study take? So, a low-cost solution is very important for patients with diabetes because they are on a a lot of medications to control their diabetes, to control the other comorbidities, mm. and especially if they have any underlying heart disease, they have more medications. So they have to take a lot of medications every day. And so if we want to add on another medication to counteract inflammation, we need to think about cost, um, and it needs to be cost effective for them yeah. because that will increase compliance. They are more likely going to take it every day and that is also going to be more sustainable and it will be an effective solution, not just for the patients, yeah. but also for the healthcare institutions. It also promises more health equity because it can be then prescribed to everybody rather mm -hmm. than just to patients who can afford it. Okay. From the foundation's yeah, perspective, mm -hmm. the low cost solution is a valuable proposition for us okay. because we aim to make significant impact in the healthcare system. And that can only happen by scaling up. And scaling up, we need it to be at a low cost, you know, to be yeah. affordable. Yeah. yeah, really making important advancements yes. in the healthcare sector. Right. We wish you both all the best in your very important and meaningful work. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming into the Thank studio you. to speak with us. Thank you. Uh, I was speaking there with Mr. Bae Su Kyang from Tanota Foundation and Associate Professor Rinku Dalan from Tan Tok Seng Hospital.